Alright, so tonight we're doing Unintended Behavior 2. I did the first one earlier this year, because I think it only came out earlier this year. Apparently this one's got 10, ac uh, 10 exits. Each level in this hack focuses on an unusual glitch or behavior, while each level's premise is vanilla. Various custom blocks and quality life patches are used. As is tradition with sequels, this hack is even more bizarre and ridiculous than the first one. You know, we want to know something really crazy that some of you probably haven't even realized while looking at the title screen. The Mario movement is entirely vanilla. So it's exactly what you get on the original game. And he's made his own custom title screen stuff, like positioned around the place. And Mario is doing exactly the same inputs as he would on the vanilla Mario World title screen. But he's done all this like funky, silly stuff. The first time I saw something crazy like that was in Storks. This is what Morsel did in Storks. But this is like next level. Oh, there's no one player start thing. Er, let's go. Yoshi's house. All the custom blocks in this hack were in the first hack. If you rebelliously skipped to this hack, please enter the door. I know we've done that. It's important to note that while this hack uses custom blocks and quality life patches, each level in our oh, gimmick is pure 100% vanilla. That's called a flex. And also letting us know inner mechanics. Mecha Koopas can easily be stuck into walls. Just hold the Mecha Koopa against a wall and throw it forward. True. Wait. Oh, hang on. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I see. Whoa, well, that is an odd Yoshi tongue. That's a new one. Okay, so then... What am I doing with this Mecha Koopa, though, is the real question. What do I want this Mecha Koopa to do? Do I want to bounce off it from there, maybe? Seems right, right? Oh, 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 my Yoshi. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yo, wait, so you can't, you can't, hmm, I'm already stumped. Hang on, how do we do this? Oh, idiot, idiot. You know, this is actually a pretty cool trick. So, all we're doing is something like that, right? He wakes up and he's gonna stay stuck in the wall and then we can bounce over. I probably should have put it in the left wall. Oh, dude, I'm scared. There it is. Okay, there we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, the left wall, you idiot! <laughs> Something like that to bounce over, right? I think I have to wait for them to wake up. No. I might be able to make this. No. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, there's some, there's some braining I have to do here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I hope, I hope you had a good raid. Ah, uh, a good raid. I hope you had a good stream. Maybe that's right, actually. That might be right. <clears throat> I think I did that correctly. Cool. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's gonna be hard. Oh man. Holy crap. Next Twitch will be uh, releasing um, audio emotes so that you can spam, you can spam chat with the sound. No! 
It woke up! <laughs> it scared the hell out of me, man! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, that's kind of high. Yeah, this is good. This is great. This is fantastic. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just don't fall in the pit. Please, 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 please. Hope I didn't need that. What does this say? Throwing a Mecha Koopa upward into a multi coin block can cause it to hit the question block over and over until the coins run out. Yeah. And that's going to help me or something? This must be showing me how the mechanic works. So you can't bring it with you. Key switch? Interesting. Wait, what? That's a one-up checkpoint. That's a one-up checkpoint. That's not a one-up checkpoint. Dude. <laughs> Maybe I'm meant to have it bouncing in. Oh! Those are one-up blocks if you have 30 coins. So, what, you only want 30 coins for the last one, not the first one, right? Is that how it works? Yes! Oh, this is the end! I didn't even see the orb last time. What the hell is this? Is this gonna... I think... I reckon it's a spin jump. Okay, wait, maybe, maybe, no, this must be a spin jump. I'm spinning. I think I big brained the crap out of that ending. That was a cool first level. I forgot that the levels are quite short, but they're quite tricky to figure out. Lakitu's spin. Bring to I say Lakitu, everyone else says Lakitu. Lakitu sounds dumb as hell. All right, let's do Lakitu springtime. I think I said that right. Springtime is never pleasant when it comes in Lakitu. Stomping him causes the spring to activate remotely. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, how did, what the heck, man? This seems like it's going to be... Ooh, that was close, actually. So is it related to hit the Lakitu position, is it? And so the, the Lakitu X position and the spring Y position. That's freaky, man. Oh, God. Dude, this is insane. Of course Jeebreeze knows this. Uh, if you don't know how to say Lakitu, you can just say Cloud Nerd. That's also right. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Check this out. This is pretty wicked. Oh, I need to spit one. Interesting. Okay. Oh, they're custom blocks. The piece which is custom blocks. That's the chocolate part of it. Um. Uh. So I think we need Yoshi for this one. Oh, this could. Okay, I get this. This is actually. Maybe Yoshi can spit from here. We need to go later. Yeah. Okay. You and Saf are incredible nerds. Oh, too late, man. It's all in the small space of time. There we go. That was a hard jump. Oh, okay. This is going to be just like... First try! I think I fluked it. I think you're actually meant to kick the spring up so you get more time. <laughs> you don't know them, right? Yeah. All right, so far this hack's going down pretty quickly, unless there's levels that get harder. Tongue tied. Level three of 10. Three out of 10. 
Uh, sticking Yoshi's tongue out while baby Yoshi hatches will cause Yoshi's tongue to wrap around the screen vertically. Sticking Yoshi's tongue out while a baby Yoshi hatches will cause Yoshi's tongue to wrap around the screen vertically. I have seen that. It happens in Grand Pooled 1. Note that the tongue graphic only shows up when facing right. It still technically works facing left, but right is far easier to execute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We can do this. Yeah, we did, Ben. We did. Wait, you want me to do what now? Hang on, wait, what? Hang on, how do I do this? Oh no. I thought it was a one screen. It's important to note the tip of Yoshi's tongue must touch a power up. Yeah. Alright, it's lava. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. You don't need to be on Yoshi for this. How do you set this up? Oh, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Okay, so I did it too soon. Yes, all right. So now what? We can bring our Yoshi with us here. Spin! <laughs> nice. Spring. Spring, you idiot. You stupid idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. All right. Oh my God. I forgot about the freaking spring. Oh, boy. That seems unfair. Did I do something wrong? Why is there a cape? Oh, okay. So we want to... So we're gonna hit the cape. The cape's gonna go up. It's gonna float down. We're gonna get up the top. Try and feed the Yoshi at the right time so we can eat the cape at the right time. You can't go through there. Okay, just wanted to try. No! That might be the end, I reckon. Yes! Oh, please. Wait, what just killed the magic? Uh, what is this? Can I just... I don't imagine- I reckon I can't go back through here if I- <laughs> Well- What?! So that's what we want. We want that Yoshi to eat the star. Power up do I want? A star, I want a star. That's what I want. Oh God. No, oh no. That is horrid. That is horrid. It's hard and it's horrid. So I think I want to jump when the fire flower shows up. Yo, I'm a legend. Go, 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 go. Yes! <laughs> oh, I got so lucky with the timing! <laughs> oh, let's go.